I'd like to share my running shoe rotation and give you some insights of how they're holding up since I've started using them. I'll split them into two categories, road and trail. And this video, I'll only include my road running shoes. For the road, I use the Ultra Escalante 2.5, the Ultra Rivera and the Ultra Torrent 5. I believe the zero drop and toe box space have helped me get rid of my plantar fasciitis. So that's why I'm sticking to Ultra for the time being. I had plantar fasciitis for 18 months and ever since I started running in them, no troubles. So I just don't want to jinx it. So that's why I'm sticking to Ultra. But as I said in all my videos so far, I'm not sponsored. So the Escalante 2.5, I've run over 600 kilometers in them and I'm still loving them. I'm sure they've lost their initial bounce since they're, not, they're no longer new, but I still consider them good enough for a few more runs. As you can see, they're not falling apart. The wear is very minimal. They're still looking pretty decent for 600 kilometers. I mainly use them for shorter runs. I remember when I got them, I had a hard time running further than five kilometers in them. My feet would always cramp up, probably because of the low stack height. But now after a year of using them, I think my, fe uh, my feet have gone stronger. I've managed to run up until 15 kilometers and probably even more. They are great for getting your feet nice and strong. I really, really love these shoes and they are one of my favorites. I would really be disappointed if the next model is going to change significantly. My Riveras have reached about 250 kilometers. And to be quite honest, I'm underwhelmed. They're not bad shoes in any way, but I noticed when I decide to go out for a run, I always choose between the Escalante and the Torrent. The Rivera, I usually just skip it. The only reason why I, why I would use them is because I, I've either not used them for a while or I want to give my Escalantes and my Torrens a rest. You shouldn't run in the same shoes day after day. You should actually give them enough time to dry. So in that case, I have the Rivera and then I use them. They still look fairly new, not much wear. The only wear is around here. I don't know if you can see it, it's the exposed midsole. After a few runs already, it had already started wearing down, but after 250 kilometers, it hasn't started Wear down even further. So as you can see, the grooves in the treads are quite big, and that's usually where a lot of stones, as you can see one stone is already still stuck in there, and a lot of mud stick to the shoes. So I always slip uh, enough mud and dirt with me into the house, but I don't notice any of any problems when running. Now the Torrent 5 is my latest pair of road running shoes. So far I've only done 80 kilometers in them, and they're currently my go-to shoe for long distance running, but they're also quite nice for tempo run. I managed to run my fastest 10K in them the other week, so I like them. They are fairly lightweight, nicely cushioned, and I can just grind out endless miles in them without needing to worry about my feet cramping up. The only criticism I have this shoe and I've said this in all my videos is the tongue. The tongue is fairly stiff. I can only compare it to cardboard but after a few runs and now at 80 kilometers it's really soft. It doesn't bother me at all. I always wear higher socks anyway but it's kind of softened but really altered. That is a design flaw but I really love them and I really think I can get a lot of runs in them. If you want to know anything else about these shoes or how I compare them please look at any of these videos that I'm posting somewhere here. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.